Getting involved, Redden will keep it in. O'Neill's got a trap behind his back with a party trick. And back to the hot spot, and Langdon takes the mark. Not sure how they pulled that out. Creative thinking by O'Neill, and Langdon will get the set shot. Looking for a few of those little starter plays, the handball over the top or get them moving. I suppose number 12 for Jones. Waterman there, Dixon too. They both leapt early. Dixon couldn't hang on to it. O'Neill again, another party trick. He's pulled another rabbit out of the hat. <laughs> Rotham searching for an option. Tries to set it up towards Foley. Fiorini got a hand in there. Ellis attracting a few. Spilt out. Gaff trying to extract it. Five-point advantage right now. As O'Neill with some good work at the stoppage. Kennedy back. Waterman crashed into him. And took out his teammate, but Rioli pitches it as well. No one in the square. He drives for distance. Skids it low. The desperation on the goal line from Ballard. Has a bounce, looks up. Ryan's short. He wants to go. Looks inside with the kick at a couple of options. O'Neill at the back. Has flicked away. Petricelli. Paul. O'Neill caught him. Still a chance. Rioli bends it around. They're in this. Well and truly in it. Up in the middle of the ground to make that play. Cherry and Williams in the rocket Greenwood at number. Clearance from the clearance specialist. Trapped by Marnie was huge. Got a big hip and shoulder as well on his way through, and he is hurt. They're getting a bit lost. Grundy the tap. Dixon tried to escape. It was partially successful, but as you can see, it's locked away there. West is the second line of West Coast midfielders, and I suspect that's where it... And again, the hands just evading the tackles for a little while. Back forward into the 50 again by O'Neill. Oh. Juggler! Yes. And he's paid. The duties. Grundy looking to find one of them, but instead it's O'Neill edging it forward. West in front. Initially the spoil from Peterbury. Grundy back. Uh, O'Neill out of the middle. Noble to spoil. He couldn't. Gee, Langdon played on. Recovers. They trap the ball in. Here we go again. Cameron out of Nui. O'Neill. Didn't have time to think about the kick. And as a result, Maynard. Maynard versus Waterman. Maynard did enough, but the ball is alive. Rioli squeezed the kick out. Ryan body to body with Madgen. Bit of a standoff. The, the boot of Rioli. O'Neill had to tough it out. Nash paid the mark. Nearly went the required distance. O'Neill. Now they decide to go in. Big targets. JK, one of them. West. Top of the square. To the back, darling. Flostone's done well. Clark missed the boot. <laughs> Thought it was going to be a goal on debut and actually didn't make contact. Couldn't get access to the footy and now he does. Quickly had eyes to the side. O'Neill back in the team today for the West Coast Eagles. A couple of early fields. It is a little greasy out there. But he's able to hack a kick forward. Darling full chested. Good start for West Coast. It wasn't easy to see how just how hurt Newcomb was there. It was a tough mark. And so, Williams, Mitchell. Yeah, that's pretty greasy stuff for O'Neill. Care with the footy required. Duggan. Scrimshaw. I'll be hoping it'll be Swift. O'Neill for a second time. Ryan. No one could really run and jump. Sisley was able to work it to the front. O'Neill. Shuey. Tucked into the pocket. Found his left boot. And might just find the goals. Didn't take long at all. Rotham looking for charging was Darling. Off hands, Patton. And Wood tackled over the boundary. Comes the way of Williams. Stolen by Clark. Quick to Marshall. Throws it on the boot. Still go in hard. Waiting at the back is Gresham. Shuey looped it up. And Gresham will go. And he can explode through the midfield. A couple of bounces, and that is a very clever kick. Great vision. When Marshall marked that, 
And the Eagles still had men out on beyond the centre square. 19th disposal for the skipper and Steele. Long there, now Wood tackled. O'Neill's not letting go. Minus one. Marshall clever behind him to lean it, but the Eagles were onto it. Yeah, Saints definitely started to get in. This one's with a touch of nasty in them to do a bit to the tagger. Sinclair takes off. Cripps, little toe poke, ineffective. Webster tackled over the boundary line by Ryan. Missed the intended target, steal, miscommunication. Trying to keep it in play there, the West Coast Eagles, although Lunat's kick is smothered. Here's a chance. Foley just throws it on the boot. And it's marked on the goal line. Back in the middle, and Witz gets the tap, but I don't know, he was all over it. Couldn't get the connection on the kick. O'Neill had to brush the tackle, but Petrocelli released. And look at Cripps start. Three crows went at him. Schoenberg diving on top. Redden. Squeeze a kick forward. Rioli. Lay the tackle. Great tackle. Strong tackle on. You should be on high alert all the time. But when there's some quick ball movement, you go into <laughs> ultra high alert as a key forward. O'Neill. Hearts play on. Hey, Waterman wanted to go back to Kennedy. O'Neill goes to ground. Cripps will bob up and he will snap a goal. Eight tackles inside 50 to one in this match so far. Natanui. And try to get it out. Flicks it over the top to Rioli. Further forward to O'Neill. The Eagles have a real appetite for it and find Kennedy again. On top, so they're controlling those areas. To Kennedy again, who as we've seen so often through his career too. If he can't mark it, he'll bring it to ground. Around a couple, wanted Kennedy again. And was crunched that time and a bit slow to get back to his feet. Rioli held without it. Now O'Neill, Kennedy still there, wouldn't have been 15. Flicks it up to Gaff. Ryan felt every bit of it. O'Driscoll. Chapman has to be quick, but he's not. Great tackle by O'Neill. Holding the ball, the call. The pressure through the roof for West Coast. Fourth year, Xavier O'Neill. Played his most games in a season so far. And a kick from close range. He's through the sticks. And West Coast may take the lead into quarter time. Darcy knocked it back to Saron. Still playing with that torn jumper. Here's O'Driscoll. Loves to tuck it in the, oh, under yeah. the arm. But again, O'Neill with that pressure. Just able to affect the kick and see it out of play. Yeah, well done, O'Neill. That's two in a row, so you've got... We want to keep it surging forward to Tucker. Looks up, feeds it inboard. Skids its way to Walters. Took the contact, no whistle. Chapman. Oh, powerhouse. There he is. A wombat with an umbrella. <laughs> Unusual. <laughs> kick. Long by O'Neill, fisted away. That might spark him, just that little bit of aggro. O'Neill, into the pocket, Waterman! Just boxed them all and got to the front. They get it outside of that, they're away to the races. They're able to spread quicker on the outside. And just lifting in this third quarter as Brayshaw sends it forward, but Barris will intercept another mark. Lead out to 31. Blitzars. Should go West Coast way. O'Neill. Sure, he had a good look around. No one to give it to, but there was a bit of time and space to his advantage, which he uses to find Ryan. Good decision, I think. Whole ball hadn't crossed the line. O'Neill. Oh, Ryan, oh, yes. yes. He may have it in his mind, Joe.